butt out, hand done, jawline left, and she's like, okay, that's so bad. Now we just kind of do like a. Hey, my name is Wes. I'm from Austin, Texas. I'm a, um, a person in recovery from alcohol and drug addiction. I'm a father of two awesome boys, and I am a serial entrepreneur. You know, my story uh, is pretty wild. It was born of what I would believe would be a lot of trials. But most of my life, and starting in my teens, um, I picked up, you know, alcohol and drugs from an experimental standpoint, um, like most folks do. And um, the difference was is I didn't stop. And over 20 years, um, starting in my teens up until uh, the end of uh, my first business, it just accelerated steadily and the substances got more and more um, addictive and dangerous, quite frankly. A clean cause was born. Homegrown in Austin, Texas, and armed with purpose, the Clean Team has created a beverage company whereby 50% of the profits go to support individuals in recovery from alcohol and drug addiction. Started close to six years ago. I was only five months sober when they hired me. Um, we were working out of um, a garage and a, a storage unit, and uh, we were only selling water at the time. Um, and it was it was just a cause that I could believe in. Um, you know, West didn't try to. Uh, sell me anything uh, phony. He said, you know, we're 50% we're uh, profit. We want to make money, but we also want to help as many people as possible while we're at it. So um, that was something that I really resonated with. I, I really liked it. There's sober living scholarships um, that are intended to afford folks that are coming off the streets, coming out of rehab or getting out of jail, an opportunity and a space of grace for lack of a better term a bridge from rehab to reintegration and, and an opportunity in a safe place that's supportive to establish a recovery routine and focus on securing a job. If life was fair, I'd be dead or in jail. Um, but fortunately, I had a family that was looking after me uh, gave me a safe space to, to live. They took all the alcohol out of, out of their home uh, for me to come back and live. And a lot of people don't have that uh, fortune. They don't have the people in their life to, to look after them like that. And this scholarship can enable somebody that doesn't have the means to focus on the recovery, to be put in a safe space, to just get to grant 30 days of, of a safe foundation to where they can really build on their recovery and not have to worry about the temptations or triggers um, and really build those, those important foundational uh, steps. So for me, there's just so many people that are, like struggle with addiction and there's so many people who friends and family struggle with it as well. And I thought like I wasn't capable of doing anything. I just thought I was gonna like die from this addiction and just have no friends, no family, no support. But whenever I got into like recovery and I started going to like meetings and meeting people that were that worked in recovery and that like were able to help, like I, I just saw like a whole community of people. I saw that there was other people like myself. And so it like gave me the opportunity to like want to live my best life, to be present for like myself, my daughter, and like my family and my friends. I think it's important to mention that uh, clean cause is not the solution and we're not trying to be, but we will be part of one. While we're super proud um, of the impact we've been able to be a part of to date, um, granting um, over 2,000 sober living scholarships, representing over a million bucks, it's meaningful to us, but it's also motivating to understand that like, there's so many people struggling out there that this is just the beginning. While again, we celebrate that, it just demonstrates the work ahead and inspires us to, um, to push harder, to push smarter, and um, to work together and to really kick some against addiction. And so 